Hey everyone, welcome to Vergara University. Today, I'll show you how to activate and configure the online shopping cart. This feature allows you to open a digital storefront and keep your business running 24 seven. Before getting started, you'll need to open a merchant account so you can process credit card payments. Afterward, you can require a card hold or deposits when clients book online and sell gift cards, packages, memberships, and products all through your booking page. Let me show you how it works. We'll start by navigating to Settings. Then, under the Things We Sell section, we'll select Online Shopping Cart. This is one of the premium features in Vigaro and will cost an additional $10 on your monthly bill. We'll select Get Started to activate the feature. Once activated, we will be able to configure our shopping cart settings. The first step is to connect our merchant account. Funds from online purchases will deposit into the selected account. Next, we can choose to sell services online without booking. This will allow customers to purchase a service in full, then book at a later date. Single services purchased online will appear in a client's package history. Next, we have two settings to require a deposit or capture credit card information at the time of booking services or classes. For each, we can set a threshold to require a deposit or card hold when clients book online and select which type of bookings will be affected. Below, we can sell memberships, packages, and gift cards through our booking page. For packages and memberships, we can still select exactly which options will display online through our package and membership settings. For selling gift cards online, customers can purchase a cash value, or we can also sell based on the price of services. If we have multiple merchant accounts set up for each employee, we can allow funds for gift card sales to go directly to a staff member of the customer's choosing. For gift cards and packages, we can set an automatic expiration date for all purchases. Next up, we can select a shipping method for online product sales. We'll need to select a carrier, or we can select curbside or in-store pickup only. Shipping rates will be calculated automatically based on the selected carrier. If we allow curbside pickup, we can set our available days of the week along with times. If we offer flat rate shipping for our products, we can choose to limit shipping costs to only the most expensive fee when selling multiple items. For example, if a customer buys two separate products, one with a $10 shipping fee and another with an $8 fee, enabling this setting will only charge the $10 shipping fee. With the setting disabled, the customer will pay both shipping fees. Finally, we'll need to enter a refund policy to communicate our business's stance on returns, exchanges, or if the customer is unsatisfied with their purchase. Customers will need to agree to this before completing their purchase online. We can also write a purchase confirmation message that will display once the online checkout process is complete. Once we have finished configuring our online shopping cart settings, We'll select Save at the bottom of the screen and our online store will activate. Our selected settings will immediately apply going forward. For more helpful tips and tricks, click the Vigaro University link in the description below.